your coast to coast mindset coach bringing to you our, our youth our youth webinar where we're going to be uh, talking about some great tips for um, our parents and 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 also our youth wrestlers so I don't think I need to have the the screen sharing right now I'm going to take that off and the sharing temporarily we're gonna we're gonna get back to that but um really good so we're glad you're able to join us with this a lot of great information that we have tonight and um you know a lot of you so to be on this call you all subscribe to the to, to our newsletter you jump on for um you, you signed up for this call make sure you're taking advantage of these free trial sessions these one-on-one -on -one trial sessions that's that's really big and this the reason why we came out with this kids program we got a ton of interest from people um well we've been working with some of the top really some of the top teams some of the top individuals in the country we've been doing we've been doing so for um quite a few years now really really excellent stuff and we've had a lot of parents approach us about you know kids under the age of 10 you know for five six seven eight nine and and it's and it's like our our program our program's great but it's it's really it's it's important that calls why did that blank for a second all right i guess we're good um real real important that we have it we have a program for kids who maybe aren't quite ready for the phone calls but they are ready to learn mindset lessons and, and i've always said this you're never too young to start learning these mindset lessons never too young why because what the way we think at a young age if the younger we could get guys thinking the right way the better it's going to be all right we want to be building these great habits for wrestling for school for your whole life so uh you really can't start mindset training young enough we just needed to take our great program our, you know our, our olympic level mindset program that we have here and here's my my three ring binder and all of our wrestlers they get all the worksheets so it's um a whole series a whole series of worksheets right here that's actually that you, you would get that with the kids with the kids premium program but it's taking that it was all about taking that and making it into a user-friendly manual a user-friendly book that um that kids would be able to follow and there's no question in my mind that if you're if you're 11 years old or higher and you're a serious wrestler there's no reason you can't be doing one of the one-on-one -on -one programs and that means doing our our phone our our phone sessions where you have you know at least at least once a month at least once a month probably even twice a month the weekly i would i would hold probably the weekly would be better when you're when you're the seventh or eighth grade and a little bit older but if you're 11 you're a serious wrestler you could and you're and you're willing to put in the work on your mindset you could probably you could handle doing a twice a month call at least a once a month call with a mindset coach so that's definitely something to take a look at Again, that's that that information. That information is all on our website. I'll, I'll cover some of that stuff. Um, but you know, we wanted to really tailor this this program, this this um webinar tonight, towards younger wrestlers and the parents. Now, it's going to benefit you no matter no matter what age you are. It doesn't matter. Even if you weren't a wrestler, you're still going to benefit from these great lessons that we have. But we just we we tailored the lessons for for a younger a younger demographic. So again, like I said before, big shout out Carl Samarco. Big shout out to Andy Arada, two of our mindset coaches that that they they work with youth wrestlers. They do a great job and they really helped me um, take this take this material and make it user friendly for the youth. So big shout out to Carl Samarco and Andy Arada. Thank you guys very much. I'm really appreciative. And already it's helping people. We're getting great reviews from the books. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna hit on that too, Jeff. Yes. Also, um, so thank you to Andy. Thank you to um, Carl Samarco, and thank you to all of our mindset coaches. Trey on here, Coach Mike, these guys, these guys, Trey McLean, Mike Moore, they put in so much work with us, and they've and they've been doing and great quality work. So we're we're the best. The reason why we're we're number one in, in in what we do in the country and in wrestling, the only wrestling specific mindset program, is because we have the best people working with us, and that's that's a mindset lesson in and of itself. If you want to be good in school, you got to surround yourself with the best students. Put yourself around the smartest people. If you want to be good in wrestling, surround yourself with the best wrestlers. Well, you want to succeed in your career, surround yourself with the best people. And and we've been very very blessed that we that we've been around some of the best people, and and that we could also call those guys our friends. So we thank you for you guys. Thankful for you guys. Um, also, wanted to sound send some shout outs for our um, two different two different places that we have we have really good relationships with that we've built over the years. So I'm going to put on my screen sharing for a second first one over here if you guys could see this 
Perler wrestling camps. Great stuff. Now, what I like what I like about Perler's system, you can see that over here, this um the screen right here, where it says Coach Zanetti. Let me slide this click meeting down here so we don't see it as much. But this, but this right here, Perler wrestling camps, they gave us a great flyer. Um, they have a system. That's what's that's what's great about Coach Perler. He's not just throwing crap at a wall. He's he's actually got a system of wrestling, and, and that's very important. He's got these camps going on. He does great work. Um, he's he might he might be one of the reasons why you're you're in this call because he pumped out this message. So anytime we could give him a shout, anytime we could promote him and push people his way, we like to do that. He's been he's been very great with that with with us. And you know we want to see good people. We we want you to be working with good people. As I said, surround yourself with the best. Um, Perler does a great job with his wrestling camps. Being over with him, you're in good hands. So make sure you check that out. You know, we really appreciate what he's doing. Also, Wrestler Nutrition, formerly known as Champion Nutrition, they, they work with, well, they, they work with, some, well, they still have Champion Nutrition for the other athletes, but Wrestler Nutrition, again, it's, it's, it's a lot like what we do. We, we're wrestling mindset. They're wrestling nutrition. They, they work with wrestlers specifically, some of the top guys in the country, just like Perla Wrestling Camps, just like Wrestling Mindset. Um, building the total package. Really having people that are that are that are eating right. They have a plan. They get they get text messages from their from their nutrition coach. It's just a great thing, you know. And um, these are these are all resources that I guess they were available when we were competing, but not to the same extent, you know. Now it's now it's it's so specific. Wrestling mindset, wrestling nutrition. So it's right there for you. We're, we're giving you this stuff, so it's it's you're able to um, you're able to really capitalize. Trevor, let's see. Yes. Okay. So everyone, Trevor is has just left a link to Perla Wrestling Camps. He's here on behalf of them. Make sure you take a look at that. Click that. And anytime that anytime we send you people's ways, that's that's a good thing to look at. Like I said, you want to surround yourself with with the best. Perler's got a system. Make sure you're looking at that. Wrestler Nutrition. You make sure you look at that. I wouldn't tell you know this is our wrestling mindset call. I'm not going to push anyone in the direction that we don't believe. So make sure you're um make sure you're taking a look at those kind of things. All right, really good, really really good stuff. So, getting getting into the heart of the matter again. Take wrestling mindset. I could probably unshare the screen right now. I'm, I'm going to unshare it for the time being, and and really looking at. I wanted to talk about you know first first and foremost whenever I speak to a group, just getting back to the basics. What percentage of wrestling is mental and what percentage is physical? And you might have heard me give this speech this week. <laughs> well. Anytime I speak to a group, they throw out they throw out a number like 50%, 60%, 80, 90. They throw out high numbers. And then I ask them, okay, you're saying the sport's between 50 and 90% mental. How much, how much percentage of your training is mental and physical? And then they say the exact opposite. They say it's about 90% physical training, 95% physical training. Okay, well, there's um there's a problem there. If you're saying the sport's 50 to 90% mental and we're training 95% physical, there's a problem. And one lesson, very important lesson for kids, for wrestling, for school, and for life. And all of our lessons are wrestling, school, and life. And that is you have to work hard and you have to work smart. Okay, so you have to, you have to train hard and you have to train smart. You have to study hard and you have to study smart. It's not either or. You don't have to pick. It's both of them. You want to train hard, train smart. Study hard, study smart. So you want to break down, you want to break down these things that you're doing. Just like we said, if you're saying the sport's 50 to 80% mental, you better be training 50 to 80% mental. Otherwise, that's not smart training. Right? If you're if you're taking a class, if you're if, if in your English class, your grade is broken down vocabulary, reading, and writing. You know, you better know what those what those assignments are worth. And you better find out what you need to work on. If you need to work on your reading, you gotta spend extra time reading. If you know that it's your writing that's holding your English grade down, you gotta practice your writing. If it's vocabulary, you need to study your vocabulary more. So work hard and work smart. Make sure you spend time on the areas that you know you need to. So again, almost everyone says the sport's at least 50% mental, but we're training 95% physical. That's a problem. So that's exactly why we started doing what we're doing. And my two master's degrees, 
one's in clinical psychology, one's in sports psychology. And, and really, I wanted to take, I wanted to, I wanted to make this great subject of performance success. I wanted to make it cool, and I wanted to make it for wrestlers. And again, thanks be to God, all of our, all of our mindset coaches, we, we've, we've been able to do that. My brother, we've been able to do that. We've been able to make this into a wrestling specific program that you could, that you could really benefit from here. So, um, wrestling specific, it's mindset, tra mindset training. So strength training for the mind. Think about it. We lift weights. Or, or maybe as kids, you do push-ups, you do sit-ups, you do pull-ups, you climb a rope, right? So you're, you're training yourself physically to get stronger. And then your technique, you drill your moves, you practice your stand-ups, you practice your penetration steps, you're doing it, right? Then what about our mind? Most people just say, well, think positive thoughts. Just believe in yourself. Just calm down. But they're not telling you what to do. So again, this is not therapy or motivational speaking or counseling or psychiatry. This is mindset training. We're going to give you exercises. We're going to give you mindset worksheets, mindset exercises for you to complete. So again, if you haven't, I know a lot of people on this call have already, have already um, signed up for the kids program. Sign up for the kids premium program. I mean, if you're under, if you're under 11, I would say if you're 10 or, or less, definitely signing up for the kids premium program. Again, these great lessons. These Olympic mindset lessons, we've broken them down for kids. And, and if you're 11 or above, making sure you're doing one of our one-on-one -on -one programs. Either, I would recommend either the silver or the bronze if you're 11. If you're 12, 13, you're more mature, then maybe you could go with the weekly. But at least, if you're, if you're 11, 12, you're a serious wrestler, going with, that, with the silver program twice a month or bronze once a month. Having, having that mindset coach goes such a long way. And there's no doubt about it. The guys who are doing the one-on-one -on -one programs are the ones who are having the most success. So, but again, when you have your mindset coach, and it's all done over the phone, we have, mindset, we have about 25 to 30 mindset coaches all around the United States. They were all former college wrestlers. So they, they work with you over the phone and take you through the worksheets. You're not just listening to someone, and you're not listening to someone who doesn't know wrestling. Okay, it's all wrestling-specific exercises. And what I want to do tonight... Is give you is give you an example of one of these mindset lessons. So when you're doing a one-on-one -on -one mindset call with your mindset coach, you sign up for the silver, the bronze program. What are you going to be doing? Okay. So what what do the worksheets look like? So the one I wanted to take the one I wanted to take you through today was the parent mindset guide. So important. You know, um, the wrestler, the, the the athlete, the coach, and the parents. They all have a big app impact on the kid's performance, but it all starts with the kid. The kid's got to learn to know themselves. So if you're, you're a wrestler, you got to know yourself. You've got to learn, as we said, training hard and training smart. You need to learn what it is that you need. And after you learn what it is you need, then you have to communicate that to your parents. Okay. So I'm, I'm hoping it's my hope that on this call, our parents and wrestlers, you guys can go through some of the stuff together. And as, and as you see, um, just lost video footage. It just says camera. Can you guys hear me? We're typing. You guys can hear me? Okay. It says loading camera. But everyone can hear me. Can everyone hear me at least? You can keep going? Okay. All right, so giving you an idea. Very good. <laughs> All right, so we're taking you through one of these one of these examples of a mindset worksheet. So starting so starting with this with our mindset with our our parents mindset guide. So for the, for us, this is self knowledge week ten. So this would be the tenth exercise that your wrestler would go through. So if any of you know the name Bruce Lee, he was a great martial artist back in the seventies, and and he used to say that. All knowledge begins with self-knowledge. You need to know yourself. So as a wrestler, very important that you know yourself. And actually, I'm going to take a quick detour even before we go into that. And, and it's that, look, we want you to be successful wrestlers. We want you to do as well as you can. And if you do the wrestling mindset program, as we say, that's a given. You're going to improve with wrestling. Okay, We've worked with some of the top teams, some of the top wrestlers in the country, the Olympic teams. So you're going to get better as a wrestler. But the big point, before we even get into this lesson, 
is I want you to remember that wrestling has to be a vehicle to improve your life. We don't want you just to be state champs and just to be national champs. We want you to do well in school. We want you to be doing well socially, doing the right things, uh, living a good, clean life. You know, we're, we're leaders. We're not followers. We're standing up to peer pressure and, and, and glorifying God with our life. That's very important. That's, that's critical. Wrestling has to be a vehicle to improve your life. And, and I mean, especially when we're talking, we're really, especially any age, it doesn't matter. But we're talking about a lot of times like this demographic for the call between six and 11 years old. Um, I don't care how good you are, you're not getting a college scholarship. You might be the best wrestler in the world at, at 10 years old. You, you have to, you got to do that throughout. If you want a college scholarship, you're going to have to do that for another seven years, right? So very, very important, maybe more, right? Because now kids are being held back more. So you're the best 10-year-old in the world. That's great. Where are you when you're 18? And what we're looking at with wrestling mindset is the big picture. We're looking at the big picture, and that's wrestling, school, and life. And that's why we're saying we're studying the best wrestlers in the country, the best wrestlers in the world. We want to study the richest people, the happiest people, the holiest people, always looking at the top. What are the best people doing? Don't get caught up in what your friends are doing. Most of your friends, and I'm, I'm saying this with love, it's just this is the nature of life. Most people are going to be average. Most people are going to be right in the middle. They're going to be normal. All right? If you're on this call, I can tell you right now that you and your parents don't want to be average. You want to be great. Otherwise, you wouldn't be giving up time right now um, in the call. So I think if you're on this call, you want to do great things. So we want to help you be great. Wrestling, school, and life. We're not going to settle for mediocrity anywhere. But we have to look at the big picture. We can't just look at right now. How do I win this tournament this weekend? Don't get me wrong. We want to help you win this tournament this weekend and next weekend and next season. But our eye is on the big picture. Where are you going to be when you're 15, 16, 17, 18 years of age when now you can get a college scholarship? All this time and effort that you're putting in, someone's going to pay for this. That's one of the things my coach used to tell me back in high school. He used to say, this is a business. You know, we're making investments now in our technique, in our strength, in the camps, in the nutrition, with your mindset. We're making investments now so you could get into those better schools. Wrestling is going to open doors for you in life. And I could say that, you know, with me and my brothers, there's no way we'd be able to be at the point we're at without wrestling. The lessons we've learned in, less, in wrestling and, and, and wrestling just opening up doors. So we have to use wrestling as a vehicle to improve our life. It is not just about succeeding right now. We got to think long term. It's got to be long term. Okay. <laughs> that being said, now we'll move into a concrete lesson that we have. So week 10, all of our wrestlers do this. We're talking about the Olympic team, our high school teams, um, middle school, elementary school, wherever you are in the program. This is week 10, the parent mindset guide. So you have a piece of paper. If you don't, Make sure you get a piece of paper out, piece of paper and pen. I'll give you a moment for that as I sip my tea. A nice green tea loaded with antioxidants. Important thing to be having. Okay, so with the parent mindset guide. So let's back up for a second. When I did my master's degree um, thesis, I had to do a thesis in order to get my master's degree. So it's a, it's a, long, a long study. And, and I was very blessed to be able to do this in the sport of wrestling. So the, the, my master's thesis was on perfectionism and nervousness in wrestlers. So wrestlers who were perfectionistic, everything had to be just right. They, they usually got more nervous and they wrestled worse. Okay, so perfectionism made you more nervous and you wrestled worse. Now, here's the thing with perfectionism. This is the reason why I bring this up on the parents' mindset guide. Perfectionism was broken down into six different groups. Two of them had to do with parents. So out of the six, out of the six different subscales of perfectionism, the subgroups, two of them had to do with parents. One was parental expectations and one was parental criticism. Now here's an important thing to remember that first things first, I'm assuming everyone's trying their best. You wouldn't be on this call 
if you if you weren't a dedicated parent, if you weren't trying to be, um, you know, bringing out the best in your kids, right? Um, so that's number one. Uh, I always assume that everyone's doing the best they can. Uh, number two is is that it's the it's the kids perceived expectations so it's it's not necessarily about re, the, the child's reality it's how the child interprets reality so does the wrestler believe you put a lot of expectations on them does the child believe you you criticize them too much it's not even necessarily that you do that it's just how does the kid perceive that and of course this is in the sport of wrestling this doesn't mean that you know um, we're not talking about, obviously, your parents tell you to do your chores and do your schoolwork and, you know, going to church, that sort of thing. Like, obviously, that's, <laughs> they got to. That's, that's part of the job of being a parent. When it comes to wrestling, sometimes it brings out too much. It, kids get too nervous if they're, if they're thinking um, that the parents are putting too much expectations on them or if they think that the parents are criticizing them too much. So the first, the six questions we have, and I basically modified this from my thesis, they're they're pretty much the questions that would assess the exact the exact perfectionism standards that we were looking at in my thesis. So in other words, um, the more yeses a kid answers to these, the more the more questionable things are. In other words, the more pressure they probably feel from their parents. And again, it doesn't mean you're putting pressure on them. It just means they might feel more pressure. So first question, is it difficult to meet my parents' expectations? So as a wrestler, I would mark that down now. Is it difficult for you to meet your parents' expectations with wrestling? Yes or no? Number two, do my parents always expect me to win and do well? Do they always expect me to win and do well? So take a moment, write down yes or no. Number three. Do your parents expect you to be the best at just about everything? Yes or no? Do your parents expect you to be the best in just about everything? Number four, their standards for me are higher than my own. So do you feel like your parents have higher standards for you than you do yourself? Number five, do your parents get mad and disappointed when you're less than perfect? Do you feel like your parents get mad and disappointed when you're less than perfect? And number six, do your parents have a problem with you when you make a mistake? So number six is, do your parents have a problem with you when you make a mistake? So fill that out as a kid and be as honest as you possibly can. Now, I should also say about these questions, they're, first of all, they're the kids' perceptions. It's not necessarily reality, like I said before. And also, just because you're, just because there's a yes answer, all I'm saying is that should, it should, that should raise your eyebrows. It should be an alarm. That doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. So in other words, um, like if you say, um, like number two, my parents always expect me to win or do well. Well, just because if your parents say yes, that's, that's not necessarily a red flag right away. Because maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you look at that as a good thing because you feel like, oh, my parents believe in me. So all I'm saying here is with those questions, if you're answering yes to a few of those or most of those, we might want to take a look at, we might want to take a look at what's being said to the kid because they might be in danger of getting more nervous. And again, this is, this is exactly what I did with my master's degree. Um, with with those with the wrestlers that the more the more perfectionistic they got the more nervous they got so we want you wrestling without fear we want you to have that eye of the tiger we want you to pull the trigger and to go into beast mode in your matches yes number five was do my parents get mad and disappointed when i'm less than perfect do my parents get mad and disappointed when i'm less than perfect And and you can kind of get a feel for these questions. What's what's happening here? Number one, is it difficult to meet your parents' expectations? Number one, is it difficult to meet my parents' expectations? So you see what's going on here. If, if a kid is thinking too much about impressing their parents, they're going to wrestle worse. And it's not just parents, okay? It's also our coaches. That's why after we go through the parent mindset guide, we're not going to do it on this call, but with your kids, with the wrestlers, 
they go through this with their mindset coach. The same exact questions that we do with parents, it's the same thing with coaches. Because if, they, if they're afraid to make mistakes, if they're afraid that their coach is going to get mad at them if they make mistakes, they're not going to be aggressive. They're not going to pull the trigger. They're going to wrestle scared. Same thing with parents. If I think, if I think my dad's going to yell at me if I make a mistake or lose, the last thing I want to do is make a mistake. The kid needs to feel free that he could just go out there and wrestle hard. So if we're going to have expectations, we want it to be just try your best. Have fun. Be aggressive. We don't want to stress winning. We don't want to, and we don't want to stress, um, you know, we, we don't want to talk about, you know, mistakes. In fact, you want to encourage your kids to go out there and make mistakes. Now, I'm not saying you're trying to make mistakes, but go out there and take chances. And teach your kids that mistakes are part of the process. That's one of the main things we talk about with this, with this, uh, with this program. Make you know, mistakes are part of the pro are part of the process. No one has ever achieved anything great in any area of life without making a lot of mistakes, without losing. So make sure you create that vi environment with your wrestlers that they're not afraid to lose or make mistakes. So that's the that's the third principle we have with wrestling mindset. That's something we're constantly going over with them, and and making sure also we just we just remember that that this is something that sometimes you know you're you're stressing this at home, but then when your kid is a mindset coach, they jump on one of our one-on-one -on -one programs, which I do expect. There's a lot of people after this call who are going to want to do one of our one-on-one -on -one programs, whether it be the once a month or twice a month for our older guys on the call. Um, making making sure that it's it's good hearing it from someone else other than the parents you normally tell these lessons to the kids sometimes it goes in one ear out the other but then when they hear it from their mindset coach it gets reinforced so now you're, they're hearing it at home from you and they're hearing it from their mindset coach and that's important because we got to get their mind right we got to get the mind right as we said if it's if it's you know 50 to 90 percent mental very important that we um that we do that okay so we do that. Next, the second part of the worksheet. Now, there's five questions right here. The, the other ones were a little bit more, yeah, the other questions were yes or no. These are a little bit more open-ended. And as I said, this is all under the section of um, self-knowledge. So the kid knowing themselves. First question, what do my parents do that help me mentally? So what do your parents do that help you mentally? Are they very supportive? Um, they take you to practice. Are they encouraging? Are they positive? They really care about how well you do. Chances are you wouldn't be on the call if you didn't have a parent who cares about about signing you up. A lot of you already got the, the the kids mindset program. And as I said, for our wrestlers, for our wrestlers in the single digits, you know, six, seven, eight, nine should definitely be doing the kids mindset program, the premium program we have on our website. I'll show that in a, in a few minutes. And I know a lot of you signed up for that already. And then our older people, um, you know, 10, 11 and up, definitely doing one of our one-on-one -on -one programs. We go through all that. But what are you doing? What do your parents do that help you mentally? So write it down right now. That's the lesson. Or one part, one-fifth of the lesson. <clears throat> so write down. What are they? What are things that the parents do that help you mentally? Number two, what do my parents do that might hurt me mentally? So what are some of the things your parents might do that might hurt you mentally? And look, we're, gu we're guilty of this sometimes. I could tell you with my younger brothers, before I knew this information, back when I was, when I was young and I was competing, I made a lot of these mistakes. Sometimes as parents, we might, we might inadvertently hurt the kids by talking about who our opponent is. Is it, are, do, do we sometimes, so maybe you hurt your kids by talking too much about rankings, too much about records. Maybe you make the tournament into a big deal. You make it into a big match. You have to do well. This is it, now or never, make it or break it, do or die. There is no tomorrow. This is what counts. When we do that, sometimes we put too much pressure on the wrestlers. Do we sometimes talk too much about our opponent? One of the main lessons we talk about in wrestling mindset, predator prey, our predator prey lesson, which I believe is week seven or week in self-knowledge, 
Um, we want to focus on ourselves. We don't want to focus on what our opponent's doing. So if we're thinking about what our opponent placed in the States, what our opponent is ranked in the country, what happened the last time we wrestled, that might be hurting. That might be hurting the wrestler. That might be hurting your kid. So I want you to, I want you to know that and write that down. What are some things that you might do as a parent that are, that are, hurting, that are hurting the kid? And again, you're not trying to do that. But sometimes we make mistakes. So let's write that down. So what are some things that your parents might do that, that might hurt you wrestling? So once you put this down on paper, you can go through it together. You can talk about it. And that's, and that's one of the big things we talk about with wrestling mindset, that as you get older and older, you're going to have to start advocating for yourself. As a student, you have to speak up to your teachers. When you have a problem in school, when you don't understand something, you have to raise your hand. You have to ask that question. And maybe it doesn't seem like it's related to wrestling, but it certainly is. If you're out in the match, you might know how to do a double leg takedown. Are you going to shoot it or not? In school, you might have a question. Are you going to raise your hand and ask the question or not? So these are lessons we're constantly going over. And if you notice, for those of you that already signed up for the Kids, the kids Mindset Program, you notice that we have on every, on every one of the worksheets, or almost all of them, wrestling, school, for confidence, wrestling, school, for mental toughness, wrestling, and school. Got to apply these lessons to life. And we take you through it. So it's, it's nice and organized. So getting in the habit of speaking up when you need it. Our, um, is that website, is that email right? Oh, that's Mike's website, or Mike's email address. Okay. Just wanted to make sure because I saw the TX in there. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, oh, yeah, Texas. Don't mess with Texas. Okay, question number three for the parents' mindset guide. And now this is something that I want you to think about as a wrestler. Um, if your wrestler is not on, if it's just a parent who's on, think about what your kid might need here. So when we do critique the wrestler, we need to know how sensitive they are. There are some kids, you could just, you could just call it like you see it. You could say, hey, you got to work on your defense or you're going to lose. You got to get out on bottom. You got to learn how to get out on bottom or you're going to or you're going to keep you're going to be there the whole match. And some kids respond to that. And maybe as as a parent you respond to that, but your kid might not. Every kid is a different level, level of sensitivity, and this is such an important lesson when you communicate with the kid, when you communicate with people in life, you have to explain it in a way that they're going to accept the message. Communication is a two-way street. One, it's how do I present the message? And two, how do you take in the information? How do you process the information? So if I say something to you in a way that you don't process it well, why am I, why am I going to say it? So with some kids, some kids are very sensitive, and you need to be very, very positive with them. So understanding, is your kid very sensitive? Is he a little bit sensitive? Or is, or is he's not really sensitive at all? So if you have a kid who's not very sensitive, then you could just say straight up, you know, you got to get better. You got to get better at your double leg. You got to get better on bottom. Now, some kids, they might take that to heart. In fact, and, and this is where it gets tough, a, wrestler, a parent who's a coach also, if you're between those two roles, you're better off being more the parent, right? Let someone else do more of the coaching. I know that's got to be tough, um, especially when you wrestle yourself and you might know the best way, but your kid really needs you to, and this comes from a lot of experience. We work with many coaches' sons. What the kid really needs from their parent is to be more of a parent than a coach. Um, obviously, there's a delicate way of doing it. There's a way to make that work, but being careful with it. So, you know, do you need to do you need to be a little bit more positive with your with your son or your daughter when you're giving information, or do you need to be very positive? There's some kids if you're not very very positive, and almost walking on eggshells, they're not going to listen to you. So making sure that making sure that when you when you give the advice, you're giving it to the kid in a way that they're gonna they're gonna process it well. And and here's another thing. The best coaches, the best parents, the best leaders, they have their praise to critique ratio. So the amount of compliments they give for the negative feedback, the positive to negative feedback is three to one. I've heard even as high as five to one. You're hearing three three or five times as many compliments as you are corrections. 
And here's why. I know there's a lot of people out there who on the surface, they feel like they don't subscribe to that model. Here's why that's, here's why that's a problem. If you only tell your kid when they're doing something wrong, when they search their memory bank, all they could think of is, you know, my dad or my mom always thinks I make mistakes. My parents don't think I do anything right. And a lot of times as parents, you know, you might think, well, if I don't tell them, that means they're doing the right thing. Ah, but that's not how the kids process the information. If all they hear are critiques, they're going to think, you know, my parent doesn't think I'm, I'm any good. My, my parents think they're always telling me what to do. I can never do anything right. So make sure we're giving a lot of compliments. Make sure we're giving a lot of positive feedback. And the more sensitive the kid is, and this is something you really want to be very honest with yourselves. And a lot of times, I'm sure a lot of you see this, but a lot of times the parent and the kid are opposite personalities. In fact, I would say most of the time, I would say most of the wrestlers we deal with, we talk to their parents, we talk to the wrestlers, and they're just about opposite personalities. I'm not saying completely different, but you know, a lot of things, the personality, they're, they're very different. So making sure, don't, don't, don't teach them the lesson. Don't teach them the lesson the way you'd want to learn it. Teach them the lesson the way they'd want to learn it. Again, all of our mindset coaches are very skilled with this. So this is something they're, they're, they, know, they know how to deal with these kids in this situation. All right. That's, again, one of the benefits of doing one of the one-on-one -on -one programs because we cover this right away. It winds up saving us a lot of time. Number four. Number four question. How do you want your parents to treat you before a match? How do you want your parents to treat you before a match? So as a wrestler, I want you to think about that. Do you want them to get you motivated? Do you want them to fire you up? Do you want them to calm you down? A lot of wrestlers wrestle their best when they talk to their parents about anything other than wrestling. Joke around, laugh, talking about baseball or, or football or, or something else. A lot of wrestlers like to be left alone. Would you rather your parents not say anything to you before a match? So there's no right answer here. Well, the, the right answer is what works for you. What works for you as a wrestler? And maybe you haven't thought about this, but I want you to really think as a wrestler, and if you're a parent and you don't have, and your kid is not on the phone, think about this yourself. How, um, how do they want you to be, how do they want to be treated before a match? Do they want to be left alone? Make them motivated and fire them up? Keep them calm? talk about something other than wrestling, what works best for your kid. So as a wrestler, I want you to think about that. And then you want to communicate that to your parents. And then finally, how do you want your parents to deal with you after the competition? So once it's all over, do you want them to give you, do you want them to give you feedback right away? So you just got done wrestling the match. Uh, your dad or your mom, they want to give you, they want to tell you about what you did right, what you did wrong. Do you want to hear that right away? Do you want to hear that um, an hour later? Or do you want to hear about it the next day? And here's why I ask this question. A lot of wrestlers, they go to a tournament, they're wrestling the whole day. And then what happens? They get in the car ride on the way home. And what, the, and what do the parents talk about the whole time? Their performance. Then they talk about wrestling the whole way home. The kid just went through a full day of wrestling. And on the way home, they're talking about wrestling in the car. And again, I know the parents are doing this with nothing but the best of intentions. You really want to ask your kid this question. Ask them this question where, um, when do you want me to give you feedback? Right after the match? Later on in the day? Or a different day? Because, like I said, with wrestling mindset, our mindset coaches, we're looking long term. I don't care how they're doing when they're 10. Not that we don't care how they're doing. But... We want to make sure that this is a positive experience. It's a learning experience. So when they're, when they're getting up to those ages, 15, 16, 17, 18, where they could be getting college scholarships, placing in the States, doing things that really, really count, that's when, that's when we, we want them really wrestling well then, too. We want them still being passionate about the sport, still being excited about it. And if, and if, we, if we give too much, if we give too much uh, corrective feedback, if we're not doing this in a skillful way, you, with nothing but the best of intentions, you might be turning your kid off the sport. He might be a national champ right now, and by the time he's, he's 14, he's done wrestling. And I've seen this over and over. So 
making sure making sure that you ask the kid when they want to hear the feedback on their performance. And there's nothing wrong with doing it a different day. So just make sure you're having that uh, conversation with the kid. Question number three that you were looking for, um, Matt, that is, that is um, yeah, how, how, do you, how does your kid want to be critiqued? So very straightforward, just call a spade a spade, or, or, or a little bit positively, or very positively. So in other words, it's a function on their sensitivity level. If they're very sensitive, you're going to want to be very, very positive. If they're a little bit sensitive, you're going to want to be a little bit on the positive side. And if they're and if they're not if they're not really sensitive, then you could just kind of call it like it is. But you know, keep in mind here also, no problem, Matt. Happy to help. Uh, keep it, keep in mind here that there's there's no better or worse. In fact, some of the best wrestlers I know are some of the most sensitive people. So don't don't feel don't feel like oh well you know the kid's a wimp if they need things to be very sensitive. Like I said, a lot of times parents and wrestlers are very different on this question. So. You know, and also it's different too. When we hear it from a parent, sometimes the kid might be more sensitive to a parent than they, than they might even be to a friend. Why? Because we want to make our parents proud. You know, the first thing, you know, I, I could tell you even when I was competing in college, I would still think about, I know my parents would tell me all the time they're proud of me, but I still wanted to, you know, I know my dad loved wrestling. I know my dad loved watching me wrestle. So I wanted to make him proud even in college. So it's in the back of our mind. It, it's in the back of our mind. So we might need to be real careful with, with, with the way we say things to kids. So if, if, you're, if you're a parent who's really trying to take this message in, you're ahead of the game. So it's great that we're all on the school. You all are going to have an advantage after this. You know? Again, the, the only thing is that's just, that's just one of the lessons. So that's, that's, one of the less, that's one of the 10 lessons of self-knowledge that you would move through with a mindset coach. So there's a lot more. There's, there's a whole lot more where that came from. And as you see, it's not just listening to me. If you just listened to me and you didn't write anything down, you're not doing the mindset training. So if you didn't, I'd encourage you after the call to start writing these things down. Answer those questions. You know, if I say it once, I say it a thousand times. It's you have to do the things that we're telling you. Just listening to me does very little. In fact, if you look at and this, and we built our wrestling, our wrestling mindset program off of this. If you look at the learning pyramid, if you're just listening to a lecture, now I'm a state certified school psychologist in New Jersey. I was a school psychologist at middle school, um, working full time doing that. I, I was doing that up until a few years ago, quit doing that to do wrestling mindset full time. So we had to learn about how children learn information. If you just listen to a lecture, your average retention rate is 5%. 5%. So what, what's, what good is that? What good is that that's down there in the toilet? Um, if you're reading, your average retention rate is about 10%. But if you're doing worksheets, if you're engaged in a group discussion, like again, our mindset calls are, if you're teaching other people the lessons, that's one of the things we tell our wrestlers. Um, we, we, our mindset coaches tell the wrestlers that after you learn the lesson, teach it to someone else. Now your retention rate jumps up to 70, 80, 90%. So wrestling mindset was built with this scientific knowledge. How are you going to retain this information? So make sure you're doing the mindset exercises. You have to do the mindset worksheets. If you signed up for the kids premium program, if you haven't, do that. If you're, if, you're, if you're 10 years old or less, make sure you sign up for that after the program. A whole series of worksheets and videos. Go through each one of the worksheets. That's what's going to make you better. It's just like doing the push-ups. It's just like doing the sit-ups. It's just like drilling your technique. You're not going to get better just by listening to me. You've got to make sure, you got to make sure you're doing the exercises. Um, hold on, I see something's going on here. We're, we're brewing with a question down here. Maybe I could relate to this. I found the mistakes. Why was my stats on my children? Yeah, you know, this is a great topic that we have down here going on. So it seems like it's well, how we critique the kids, being careful, and and this is a point. This was in the back of my in the back of my head too as I was going through it. Um, again, every kid has different levels of sensitivity. We don't want to, 
it's it's a two-way street. Kids kids definitely need to learn how to toughen up and to take critiques better. I'm not saying like we can't just pamper them, we can't just enable them. And like if a kid's if a kid's narcissistic, that's what it was saying here. And the kid always blames other people and he says it's not their fault, right? We don't want to enable that kind of narcissism, right? And, and we're certainly not saying here with all these questions here, the parent mindset God. I'm not saying here like Burger King, have it your way. Or is that McDonald's? One of the two. Who <laughs> we say, have it your way. It, it's not that. The, the main point of this exercise is I want to open up your mind. Uh, first of all, I want to I want to get things down on paper where it starts opening everyone's mind. To what's going on? How is the kid perceiving the information from the parents? And, and then obviously, if we're, if we're dealing with the kid who's narcissistic, that's that's another. As you see, when different kids bring about different challenges, and that's even more of the reason to have a mindset coach because you know, you, you can't answer the general questions. When I speak to a group, I have to give general answers. So everything that I'm telling you is for most people most of the time. I feel very confident to say to you, if you, if most people most of the time listen to the things I'm telling you live, you're going to be okay. Definitely. Um, making sure that w when there's exceptions, which a lot of kids are exceptions to a lot of these, that's even more of a reason you want to have the one-on-one -on -one mindset coach. So make sure you take a look into that. Very good. Um, talk about the. So okay, so what we have here the questions about the di the different rates. So here I'll sh I'll show you here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with everyone. Because Jeff, that's a that's a good question there. Let me let me share my desktop. One second. Okay, so you have my screen. Let me go over this. So here we are with with wrestling mindset. Pull this over to the middle. So when you go when you go to our wrestling, oh, I was just on the testimonial page. Man, this is great. We just got this um we just got this redone by um one of the people that works with us. Unbelievable. So just tons of success. You see some of the some of the guys here younger, um younger guys here. This Denzel from Appalachian State. We've been working with the team. Joey Butler. He's a um, Middle school stud. He's going into um, high school next year. Joe Cangro. These are just a lot of great testimonials. Man, this page looks awesome. They did. They did great with this. Mason Kaufman out here just won his. He won a second Wisconsin state title, and here they are interviewing him right here. And he's wearing his wrestling mindset shirt. That just looks awesome. Okay, so getting back to Jeff's question here, what, go to wrestlingmindset.com. If you haven't done a free trial session, make sure make sure you do that. And I'm sure some of you guys have gotten calls from, some of you guys have probably gotten some calls from Trey or Josh, or some of you might've spoken to Mike. Make sure you're doing, make sure you're doing those, those free trial sessions because that's going to give you, you know, like I said, when I'm speaking to everyone as a group, that's most people most of the time. When we get, when we get detailed information, how old your kid is, um, what, what level of seriousness they are about the sport, um, What's their level of maturity? We have a whole parent questionnaire that we give you, and we, and we go through the stuff also on the one-on-one -on -one trial session. That could really give us much better direction uh, on what your kid could be doing. So make sure you're doing the trial session, and, and, that's, and that's very simple. If you go on our website, you click um, right here, www.wrestlingmindset.com, get the free mindset trial. You click that, and then you just simply fill out the form. Boom. Very, very simple. Like I said, since since everyone had their contact, since all of you sent us your contact information to be on this call, you're probably going to be you're probably going to be getting a call from Trey or Josh. Make sure you get back to them. Make sure you do the trial session because that could really give you the best information possible about this. Now, um, let's see. Let me scroll to the side here a little bit. As you see, mindset coaching. It's not just it's not therapy or counseling, right? And wrestling and life. We're always looking at that big picture. You look at the store right here, you click the store, that's the upper um, right-hand corner all the way to the side. The Premium Kids Mindset Program, all right, that's that's a one-time payment of $199. So there's the kids, the regular Kids Mindset course, if you scroll down, that's $99. Okay, that has, that has the book with all the exercises, the Olympic Mindset Lessons for Kids. The biggest difference between this, and this is why I'd strongly recommend the Premium Kids Mindset, let me, let me scroll over so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Every month, we have, we have a, an exclusive members conference call. So the only way you can get on that call 
you can get on that conference call is if you're part of one of the wrestling mindset uh, premium programs, so either this or one of the one-on-one -on -one programs. If you're part of one of our one-on-one -on -one programs, you qualify for this also. But for the kids mindset program, only the premium, you get access to our right here. You can see this. I don't know if it's highlighting for you. It looks like it is highlighting for you. Monthly premium conference call. That's 12 different calls that we have. The first Tuesday of every month at 9 o'clock, we have an exclusive members call. You can only do that if you're doing one of our one-on-one -on -one programs or the premium kids mindset program. And again, like I said, uh, generally speaking, if you're, if you're 10 years old or younger, you're going to want to do this kid, premium kid mindset program. That's just, that's just a smart move. Now, if you have a real mature 10-year-old, you know, 11, once you start getting into 11 middle school, now you're going to want to look, if you look at the top, you look under services, all right? Now, now you're really looking more for, now you're really looking more at um, one of these programs down here. So you see, I just click services. I click, you know, men and women is going to be the same thing. It just has different, you know, it's um, different pictures pretty much. So again, you set up the free trial session. Look, the steps are broken down nice and easy for you. Step one, you set up the, the free trial. Um, if you haven't done that with Trey or Josh already or Mike or Marcello. Um, step two, the parent questionnaire that's going to give a lot of these different questions. You're going to put, you're going to um, send that file back to us. Two, uh, number three, you sign up for the program. And the number four, you go through the mindset checklist right here, this mindset checklist. And that's going to that's going to assess where your weaknesses are, where your problem areas. So there's eight main topics in wrestling mindset that you see down here: confidence, relaxing under pressure, motivation, on and on, aggressiveness. Everyone has different strengths. Everyone has different weaknesses. We find out where your weaknesses are on the first call. So as soon as you sign up for the one-on-one, -on -one, the one-on-one -on -one program. Now this is different. This is not what you would go through in the kids' mindset program. This is this is one of our one-on-one -on -one team, one-on-one -on -one programs. So you would actually go through the mindset checklist. You're not going to do the mindset checklist in the kids program. The reason why is it's it's, it's much more basic. We we keep that much more basic. Like I said, the the, the more mature uh, people, the more mature 10, 11 year olds, more serious wrestlers, they're going to go through this mindset checklist here on step four, assess their weaknesses, their struggles, and um, then they're going to go through the mindset program. So if, if you're struggling with aggressiveness, after you go through self knowledge aggressiveness is the first thing you're going to go through. If your kid's not pulling the trigger in matches, if they're wrestling too cautious, hesitating, giving good opponents to respect, the first lesson they're going to do is this aggressiveness right here. Okay? If your kid's struggling with relaxing under pressure, they choke in big competitions, after they go through self-knowledge, relaxing under pressure will be the first series they go through. So you see, it's a systematic program, but it's also individualized for your kid. So and that's step five, completing the program. So again, if you look down here, and there's many different things they get they get with these programs. Also notice one thing I didn't mention with with, with the kids program. Also, free nutrition consultation. As we said before, we talked about Perler Wrestling Camps. Great thing to be going to. Something to really get involved with. But also wrestler nutrition. A lot of our wrestlers they also use wrestler nutrition. You get a free nutrition consultation, a free one-on-one -on -one trial with them if you do one of our wrestling mindset programs. And that goes along with all this other information that we give you, our championship video library, you know, our mid-tournament MP3 mind files, that's normally $30. Our mindset ebook, that's that's $20. So 30, you know, 20, that's you're already saving $50 and that that all just comes free with it plus the plus the big pro, the big program that you get. So again, these programs, this we have we've you know, the 10-day confidence crash course you could do. The ones I'm really looking at, if we're talking about a 10 or 11-year-old, is is either the bronze and the more serious they are, then we're to look at the silver and the gold. Okay, so you have your one-on-one -on -one mindset coach who's going to take you through all these worksheets. Like I said, the worksheets are different. The worksheets are, um, it's, it's not just a, um, it's not the kids, it's different than the kids' program. The kids' program is standardized. The kids, in other words, the kids' program is not, it's not tailored to the individual. They, d they do the worksheets on their own, but it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't give you the lessons based on what your kid needs the most. If, if you go, if you, if you go, if you buy the kids, pro, you go start doing the, the um, one of the one-on-one -on -one programs, that's every single month, you're going to have the two mindset calls or every single month, you're going to have the, um, you're going to have the one mindset call 
with the mindset coach. They're going to take you through this. They're going to take you through all the different worksheets. And as we said, that's, that's a lot more individualized because if your kid's struggling more with confidence, they're going to go straight confidence after self-knowledge. If they're, if, they're, if they're struggling too much with mental toughness, they need to get tougher. They need to, they need to you know, um, to really build that mental toughness, kick it into high gear, get into peace mode. They're going to go right into mental toughness. So the kids' program isn't structured that way. Also, downside with the kids' program is, I mean, it's great, again, for the younger guys, but as the people get older, they're going to have more questions. As the brain develops, we get more curious. We want to know more what's going on. And you're going to want to bounce that information off one of our mindset coaches. So, like I said, if you're looking over here, silver program, bronze program, definitely something great. That's that's the big reason why you want to do the, the free trial session because our mindset coaches, our sales team, they, they're trained to know what to listen for. When you tell them about your, your kid, there's going to be a program that fits them better. And it's not always the bigger program. You know, don't just think, oh, because, you know, we're – Okay, so you think that, if, you know, 11-year-old comes to us, automatically we push him to the silver. No, I didn't say that. Hearing more information about your kid, you talk to Marcello, Trey, or Josh, they might say that, you know, at this point in time, based on their maturity, based on their, um, their wrestling career, it might be better to go once a month. Again, I'm looking long-term, and, and I want that to be one of the main take-home messages for all of you, is that start thinking long-term for your kids. Start thinking long term, and if we're gonna, I don't want to burn them out with our with, with with this if it's not something that they're ready for right now. But I don't. I also don't want to say that they're not ready for it if we haven't talked to them. So once we talk to you, once we talk to your kid, we can know your situation a lot better, and we can help you make a decision that's best for them long term. Okay, so make sure you do that one on one trial. And again, the people who are the people who are under people who are under 10 years old, if we're in the single digits, like I said, going back to the, the screen share thing over here, you click store on the top, no doubt about it. You do this kid's mindset program, that's huge. That's, there, there, there's no doubt this is what you're going to want to do because you're going to get all those conference calls plus the book, plus all the, work, all the, um, all the videos that we have. And that's going to teach these lessons. It's going to get you off to a great start. Like I said, you're never too young to start your mindset training. You, you're really not. Because, you know, what, what you learn at a young age sticks with you. And sometimes when you, when you start younger, it's even better because now your, your mind isn't already developed. You, could, you don't have to break bad habits is what I'm saying. The younger you are, there's less bad habits that you have to break. The older you get, the more you have to unlearn things and break bad habits. So start off with good habits. Um, what else do we have down here? We wanted to look at this. So again, our kids, our kids premium mindset program, you know, you click this here, learn more, this button right here. So you just click that kids mindset lesson kit. Again, we have some testimonials, some of our wrestlers. So I Drake the other night, I spoke at elite wrestling club in, in Jackson, New Jersey. He's over here. He's working hard. He's, he's bigger than this picture now, <laughs> but he's on, the, he's been on the program for quite some time. Um, our mindset red flags, you see. Here's us with the different groups. You can see if, if I blow my screen up a little bit, you can see these were these were some young groups. I mean, look at the age of some of these guys, and look there. They, and here they are. They're completing the worksheets. You see, they were doing the worksheets. Well, most of them were. And then over here, this this is also another young group up top. So there there there's people out there who are doing it. This is the competition, and you know we want to stay ahead of the competition. Let's see. Um, again, it shows what the program includes. All down here. We have kids' strength tips. We have kids' nutrition tips. Um, again, we work with wrestler nutrition, so our, ours is more of like we just give like sheet of information. What they do, this is what they do full time. So that's having your own nutrition coach, which is obviously you know great. Um, you know, looking down here, get that you get you get a video each month. Again, more and more more and more testimonials. Great stuff. Shows the different. Now these are the different lessons for the kids' books down here. So as you see, these are. That's the difference between the kids' program and the one-on-one -on -one program. Like I already said, you are you're going through a standardized program for for the kids' mindset. Whereas if you're doing one of the individual programs, one of the phone programs that's monthly, you're going to have it's going to be tailored directly to you. 
But for kids, this is just how we move through it, just like this. And again, we recommend the kids do that uh, with their parents. Also, right, right here, this is, um, yeah, so Matt Lopes, I think this is um, Coach Mike's guy. Mike Moore is on the call. A lot of great stuff. Oh, so then all you'd have to do then at the bottom, if you see, you go to that page, you click learn more. So let me, let me go back a step. So just so you see how to get the, the kids mindset program. So if you run the kids mindset program, you're at the home, you click the store. After the store, you click down here, learn more. Olympic mindset lessons for kids, premium kids program. You scroll all the way down, click buy now. That's a one, that's a one time payment. So like I said, that's, it's great information. It's again, big thanks to Andy Arada and Carl Samarco taking our great mindset program that we do with Olympians, making it very accessible for kids, videos and the worksheets. So um, that's a big deal. Also, uh, what was I saying? And, and then back to the, the last thing I should probably go through. Just again, if you wanted to do one of the one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one programs, like I said, if a kid's older, if a kid is um, more mature, they're a real serious wrestler, go to our website. First and foremost, talk to the minds, talk to our, our mindset coaches. Get your free trial session because that'll help you match you up with what program is best for you. Like I said, the biggest, you know, we, we want to make sure we, it works best for you. Click services, right? Look down. This this video will give you more about what the program is. This is a, this is a breakdown of some of the stuff we spoke about. Welcome to Wrestling Mindset. Cool video. I explain it. I'm in this, I'm in my same uh, trophy room. I'm in back here. And then again, you scroll down. And then you click these programs. Also, if you if you see, you notice if you pay in full, you sit for the full year, you wind up saving hundreds of dollars during the year. Also, you save. You don't have to pay for the processing fee too. So it's a way of kind of kind of sidestepping that as well. So um, making sure you really look at one of these programs. Again, if you're older, uh, your kid is a real serious wrestler. So very simple to do, but any questions, you just make sure you go in our free trial session right here, get free mindset session, click that, make sure you're doing it. Again, if you signed up for this call, you should, you should be having, some of our mindset coaches are reaching out to you. Trey McLean, Josh Henze, and you might've also heard from Mike Moore. You might've heard from, um, Oh boy, Marcello Medini. <laughs> Sorry, Marcello, he's on here. <laughs> Very good. All right, excellent stuff. If there's any other, um, that's really the big stuff I wanted to, um, that I that I wanted to hit on. Are there any Are there any questions from anyone while while we're on this call? If anyone has anything else that I can answer for you live. Ah, yes, important point that Jeff po posted for me, and that is, um, see, I'm I'm Coach I'm Coach Zanetti on here, and Jeff says Coach Zanetti. Um, dash one. The, the the access to our premium kids program that ends May twenty seventh. That is that is Saturday. Okay, so once once we have once once everyone signs up after Saturday, it's going to close down that kids mindset program. That's right. That's that's an important point. So hopefully you stuck around to hear that. Yeah, that kids that kids premium program is only available up until uh, Saturday. Then we're going to take it down. So, um, and then we'll see when it, you know, when, when, it, when it goes back on, but definitely make sure you do that. It's a, it, like I said, it's a critical thing. If you're in this, if kids in the single digits, definitely a program for them. And even, and even if you're older, if you, if you, for whatever reason, you couldn't do the one-on-one, -on -one, I'd strongly recommend the one-on-one, -on -one, but at least then do the kids program because you have something. And like we said, it's all about training your mind. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results, right? So if we know we're struggling with the common mindset red flags, giving good opponents too much respect, wrestling too cautious and hesitating, no killer instinct, not pulling the trigger, choking in big matches, being a slow starter. If you have those, if you have those mindset red flags, if you have any of those or multiple mindset red flags, training harder is not going to be what fixes it. It's training smarter. So we have to fix the problem. And that's exactly what we do with Wrestling Mindset. We're here to fix the problem. If you're struggling mentally, we're going to help you overcome that. Like I said, we're only the best because we work with the best. And these people we have on the call, again, Carl Samarco, Mar Marcello Medini, Mike Moore, Trey McLean. Um, Mike, Trey, Marcello. Uh, Josh Hinsey, I mentioned him also. 
<laughs> all of our good people, my brother and, and our other mindset coaches all around the country, they're great at what they do. You know, that the, all those testimonials would not be on our website if it wasn't for all of those people. So, you know, we're, we're real happy to have them. Should we respect our opponents? Um, well, you know, again, you, you love everyone. We're taught to love everyone. So respect, with, when, it, when it comes to respect, the way we use it in wrestling is, yeah, as our Coach Mike had, respect all, fear none. You know that anyone can be beat on any given day, right? What we don't want to do, that's usually not the issue. What the real question is, what we're really dealing with most of the time in wrestling is we're giving people too much respect. It's, it's rare where we're giving people too little respect. There are some people that is a problem, but if I'm speaking to most people, most of the time, we're usually giving people too much respect. So you could tell most wrestlers don't respect anyone. Obviously, good sportsmanship, you, you know, good sports, good sportsmanship, you shake their hand, win or lose, shouldn't be crying, or, you know, coming off the mat crying like a little baby. You do that in private. You know, we want to, we want to instill those good lessons in life. We want to teach, we want to teach sportsmanship and humility and, and walking with your head held high no matter what. But um, sure, like Coach Mike said, respect all for your none. And, and, you know, it's most of the time we're giving good opponents too much respect. So if you see that you have a kid who's giving too much respect to people, you could start pushing them the other way, right? You could start pushing them the other way. Now, if you have a kid who's, who's, giving, who's not giving enough respect, he's often getting surprised. He wasn't ready. He thought he was going to dominate everyone. Then you might need to tell the kid, yeah, you need, you know, you need to respect people out there. You can't just assume you're going to walk through everyone. That's usually not the issue. But again, great question. Even more of the reason why you'd want to have a one-on-one -on -one mindset coach and do one of those one-on-one -on -one phone programs because we'll be able to give you the exact advice that works best for your kid. But for most people, we're dealing with guys giving too much respect, not too little. Good question. All right. So again, make sure you sign for that free trial. If you've, if you've been reached out to by Trey, Josh, Marcello, Mike, any of our guys, make sure you get back with them and sign up, for one of, sign up for one of those programs. Like I said, at least the kids' premium program, which closes on May 27th. And if you have that, you could always upgrade that to, towards doing the individual program. The older you are, the more serious you are about wrestling, you're going to want to be doing one of the one-on-one -on -one programs. Again, um, big shout-out to all of our mindset coaches. Make sure you follow us on social media. Great, great, um, Mike. Excellent. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. We're all over it. We got our blogs, all, all that stuff. It's just constant information that you're seeing. Um, Mike's posting great stuff. Buck Watkins is posting great stuff. All of our people are posting great stuff. So make sure you're following all those things. If you like what you're hearing, make sure you tell a friend about it. Uh, the best way to learn is to go into this kind of stuff with a support system. That's why we talked about the Parents Mindset Guide today. You want your parents to be on board. You want your family to be on board. You want you want your teammates to be on board. You want your clubmates, your friends to be on board. The more people that are reinforcing the same message, the better. You know, we um we we've worked with Bergen Catholic the past four years. They've been the number one team in the state of New Jersey for four years. Well, there's not a surprise there. Not only does most of the team do the, or not most, but a lot of the team do the, a lot of the team does the program. Um, brothers are doing the program. There's um their clubs are doing the program. So it's like they're being they're being hit with wrestling mindset individually as a team in their clubs. Their parents are are paying attention to our lessons. So they're they're completely immersed in this information that we're giving. Now you have a nice finely tuned a nice finely tuned machine. Everyone's speaking the same language. And that's what you want. You want everyone to be on the same page. So again, make sure you do these free trial sessions. Make sure you sign up for one of our one-on-one -on -one programs or at very least the Kids Premium Mindset Program, which closes again on May 27th, this Saturday. Make sure you do that. Any other questions you have, make sure you get to us. Our email is mindset at wrestlingmindset.com. Sign up for a free trial. Make sure you get back to those mindset coaches who reach out to you. All right. Have a good night, everyone. We'll let you know when we do this again. God bless you all. Take care.